hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel kindly subscribe my uh, youtube channel uh, passionate engineer uh, today we will discuss about the hvc system for uh, corona patients or corona hospital facilities that is covid 19 who declared COVID-19 as a pandemic causing respiratory illness like the flu with symptoms such as cough, fever, difficulty in breathing, body aches, blah, blah, blah. As per current scope and definition of modes of transmission by WHO, World Health Organization, release guidelines about SARS, SARS, coronavirus size, its particle size is 88 nanometer to 160 nanometer, which is 0.088 micron to 0.160 micron. Uh, this uh, micron uh, range will help you to select the filter for your AHU uh, to design the HVC system for healthcare facilities. And transmission is uh, considered through opportunistic airborne and droplet mood only however residual contaminants can travel through air currents caused by central air conditioning system that is ducts which is the main uh, source of air where all or some air in the building is circulated and can contribute to spread of diseases this is the major concern uh, in healthcare facility when your system is centralized there is a ducting system which supply the air it can supply the contaminated air so your air must be clean to serve the corona patients or other uh, uh, other healthcare facility covid 19 is fairly new and should be seriously considered with all precautionary measures the hv system should be looked at as airborne infectious disease corona patients based on their nature of illness must be kept isolated in isolation centers and should not be mixed with the other area of the hospital like if the corona patient is being isolated their room uh, hvc system should be isolated like there is only uh, supply air duct and exhaust air duct the air will not be mixed with the other air of the centralized air conditioning system. Hospitals, the risk of airborne virus diffusion mainly depends on airflow behavior and changes in direction caused by supply air and exhaust air location. It also depends on your locations of supply air and exhaust air. Uh, which I will discuss later. An improved isolation room ventilation strategies is found to be the most efficient in removing contaminants based on observation and simulation results. Isolation room is the best way to treat the coronavirus, like supply the air and exhaust the total uh, air of the room. So there will be no return uh, air to mix with the supply air. There are different types of uh, isolation rooms that are S-class, N-class, and P-class. N is the negative, positive, and blah, blah. It's uh, International Health Facilities Guidelines. According to them, these are the uh, classes of uh, isolation rooms. While ASHRAE look at it, according to its utilization it is up to the healthcare professional to decide according to who recommendation which patient is critical or otherwise and accordingly serious covid patient should be kept in class n isolation room the class n isolation room is recommended from them which is completely isolated from the other rooms there uh, there is only one supply and only exhaust the whole the whole air that supply is exhausted through exhaust air duct and no mixing of the air in return air so this is the class and negative room which is always on negative pressure like there are three rooms uh, one is isolation rooms and two are the uh, ICUs or other patient rooms. So the 
the other two will be on positive pressure the air will flow from the room toward the uh, corridor or other area and in case of class n negative isolation rooms the uh, air will flow from the other area into the uh, class n rooms which will be exhausted the airflow supply into the room is balanced with exhaust airflow to create at least 0.1 water gauge that is 0.1 wc which is equal to the 25 pascals negative differential pressure with respect to an adjacent space so there must be a 25 pascal negative differential pressure with respect to adjacent space like in uh, two rooms one is isolation and one is simple patient room that may be ICU intensive care unit so the isolation room will be at negative differential mean that will be in minus 25 Pascal with respect to the other room usually the hallway or an ante room it ante room is actually the control room which is connected with the isolation room Air conditioning system for negative pressure isolation room should be connected to emergency power supply to maintain air pressurization in the event of power failure. There must be an emergency power supply connected to the negative classroom in case of power failure. The, the room requires labeling as a negative pressure isolation room. The, it is recommended that this room must be labeled with negative pressure isolation room so the other person can know which room is this and now we will discuss in detail about the pressure relationship a negative pressure isolation room is used for patients with airborne infections according to CDC a patient known to have contracted the coronavirus can spread it negative pressure person to person isolation room therefore is designed to help prevent the spread of diseases from infected patients to other in the hospital like there is an isolation room the air will be completely exhausted and there the room must be at, at negative pressure means the other air will flow toward the isolation room and no air will be flow from the isolation room to the other facilities this is the most important uh, most important term in the HVC design for the uh, hospital facilities especially for coronavirus what will be the air changes like uh, you are going to calculate the how much air is needed for isolation room so the for this you will need the air changes per hour which is the 12 air changes per hour you just calculate the volume of the room multiply by the air changes and divide it by 60 so you will get the CFM of the uh, CFM of the room the required CFM and 2 ACH fresh air this is the another important term fresh air how much fresh air you need to supply to the uh, room it's 2 ACH like multiply the volume of the room with 2 divided by 60 you will get the fresh air how much fresh air you will need to supply to the room and must maintain a minimum of 0.1 inch that is WC inch of or inch water gauge pressure or 25 Pascal negative pressure differential to the adjacent corridor or other ante room should be utilized as I discussed previously when an ante room is provided airflow should be from corridor into the ante room like I said the air should not go from or the air should not flow from the uh, isolation room toward the corridor or other facilities it must be flow from the corridor toward the isolation room so this uh, air will be exhausted so the uh, continuance that the airborne particles due to the uh, coronavirus patient due to sneezing coughing uh, it will go outside the 
uh, outside the room environment uh, with exhaust air duct and with filter this air is not just only uh, exhaust in the outside environment but should be treated as well the air handling unit serving the isolation room that is the air filtration the air handling that serving the isolation room requires minimum efficiency reporting value of MERV 7 filter that is pre filter in AHU return air duct uh, you will uh, install the MERV 7 pre filter MERV 14 and, or like uh, you want to install the AHU with uh, for supply of the air to the isolation room so in return or suction line that is uh, there is no return uh, in the isolation room but you can say it's return line or the suction line or the fresh air line from where it uh, suck the air inside of the room there must be a MERV 7 filter as a pre-filtration and MERV 14 filter for the final filtration or instead of these two filter you can install only HEPA filter with uh, back filter and mesh filter which will be minimum of H13 or higher the ambient temperature should be maintained in uh, isolation room is 72 to 75 Fahrenheit uh, which is the recommended temperature for the coronavirus patients and the humidity control is the major concern in isolation room for coronavirus like when the air is humid more humid it will always cause uh, its uh, disease to increase if it's dry it's also not best so it m it must be in between 40 to 60 to uh, to avoid the uh, in viral infection to spread <clears throat> like uh, if the dry air causes particles to stay airborne for longer and this increase the chance of viral infections while excess, uh, sex, uh, excessively humid air stimulates the growth of bacteria mold and dust mites these organisms have a negative impact on indoor air quality and occupant health therefore a humidity level of 40 percent to 60 percent should be maintained exhaust air like i discussed and i uh, um, discussed too, uh, too many times the exhaust air exhaust air should be directed to outside high above the roof level at least 10 feet like your AHU is on uh, is on the roof so the exhaust or the exhaust fan is on the roof the exhaust duct should be 10 feet above the uh, above the uh, uh, roof or above the uh, facility hospital facility so it will not go back inside the uh, other room or it will not suck by the other AHU so this is the main concern with speed greater greater than 2500 500 fpm feet per minute with this speed you will exhaust the air considering minimum separation distance requirements from air intake stacks operable windows etc like i said you just need to maintain a minimum separation distance to avoid this exhaust air to suck by the other ahus or other uh, supply units exhaust is required to pass through hepa filters like i said the exhaust air that air that is exhausted from the isolation room should be treated as such so it doesn't uh, uh, contaminate the other environment and you will install the HEPA filter H13 minimum in filtration uh, exhaust filtration with UV treatment you will treat this air with ultraviolet or UVGI dependent on the risk assessment recirculation of air is discouraged from isolation like I said before 
these are the some references i just uh, got the information from asher standard 170 and other asher technical resources cdc center of disease control guidelines for classification design of positive negative pressure room or table and uh, thank you for watching my video if you have any question you can ask me in comments if you need this presentation i will email you kindly and comment your email thank you